Meredith's Coach Kearney from Rising Star Baseball Camp. This is video footage of you hitting batting practice on August 11th, 2016. And there's a couple mechanical issues you have here that I want to address before I say goodbye to you for the summer and you go off to your tournament in about 10 days. So this is a pitch that you don't swing at. It's a low ball, but I want you to watch what you do with your hands here. All right, so you're dropping your hands even on a pitch that you don't swing at. Now let's take a look at a pitch that you do swing at. Okay, so let's take a look right here. And you're dropping and casting. All right, this is a problem. Dropping the hands and then casting, meaning you're extending that front arm before contact. So you, you do this more on the middle pitch and a middle out and an outside pitch than I've seen you do it on an inside pitch. Inside pitch, for the most part, you do a good job of staying inside the baseball with the hands, but pitches down the middle and away, you're dropping and casting. All right, now you do a good job here on finish. I really like this rear leg hip term, and I also like this nice stiff front side that you're hitting off of. But before you get to this position, you're dropping and casting on probably four out of five swings. This is a very bad position right here. This is bad. And you're going to have a tough time not only driving the baseball effectively, but you're going to have a tough time reacting to different pitches. So we've got to correct this moving forward. Let's take a look at another pitch, just so you know this isn't a one-time isolated incident. So you're good, you're good, you're good, and then you drop and cast again on the next pitch. Right? So stop dropping those hands, stop extending that front arm before contact, because you do a great job here, Merritt. This is textbook right here, and I, I commend you for where you're at here. Really impressive. I mean, this is what every hitter aspires to do, what you're doing right here. But before you get there, you've got issues. So if we can correct those issues, you're going to see much more consistency through your hitting as you move into high school. So let's work on that. And I'm going to finish this tape with a full speed look at your swing.